Fake clap. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> Wow Young Podcast. The Wow Young Podcast. <laughs> Wild Young Podcast, the last episode of season one. It's okay, don't cry. We'll be back. Uh, season two. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I yeah, like that because I don't so want to cry. Wild Young Podcast. We are the podcast for that young person out there who wants more of Christ. Uh, okay? This is the ultimate guidebook for your walk and your relationship with Christ. You want to know him more? Take a listen. Listen to our episodes. Listen to the stories. Shout out to our wonderful guests who were on our last three episodes. Shout out to Elton, D, and Marley. And the way that God is using them is just an amazing. And if you didn't listen to that or watch it, go back to that. Go back. Go back. And you need to be caught up because this is the last episode of season one. So you need to have listened to the whole season by now. Okay. Yeah. And as we are wild young, we're also spiritual speed, going yeah. full speed ahead into what God has called us to do, serving him while we're young. This is it. Wild.young on Instagram. Continue to follow us. Keep everything updated. And yeah, just season one does not mean this is the end. This is just the beginning. So you need to tap in. Definitely tap in. Wild Dot Young. Women's Month has been amazing. 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 And to top it off, we got Easter this coming week. That yes. Crazy. 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 I'll break it down to you. So Agape Word Center Church International, our home church, had this idea of speed, right? Our visionary lead, Reverend was like, people need speed, right? You need to be an agent of change. So taking you from, I think David's men were a bunch of people that weren't mighty. And then by the end, they were mighty men or mighty women. So, you know, changing your life, speed stands for S-P-E-E-D. That's being selfless, being prayerful, becoming someone who shares the word, an evangelist, empowered in the word, E, that's second E, and a disciple maker. So do you feel like, You've gotten some spiritual speed in you? I've definitely gotten some spiritual speed. And hopefully, if you're listening out there, you got some spiritual speed too. Mm. Because this is the podcast for that. <sighs> I definitely got some spiritual speed, especially with our guest and our first three episodes. There's definitely some gems that were dropped. Hopefully, you picked up on them because they were dropped. Diamonds. Drop some diamonds if you're listening in the comments and you picked up on some gems. I have a question. So how would you describe the spiritual speed community? The spiritual speed community is a loving community because we all serve God and God is love. So we serve Jesus. Spiritual speed is a loving community. It is a community wow. that uplifts. It's a community that pushes you towards positivity. It's a community that pushes you towards you know your walk with Christ and what it is that he has for you and it's important to have that community when you're walking with Christ because you have that people who can check you you have that people who can help you and uplift you so spiritual speed is definitely the place to be for a community for sure so how would you describe the spiritual speed community I would describe the spiritual speed community by like like that loving. I like how you said this is the place for that. So like this is the place for everything. Whatever you think is your insecurity, we'll take it. Whatever you think is wrong with you, we want it. You know, it's like uh, God going to buy everything off of you because he already paid the price. And so I feel like that community is a bring everything you have and you're going to walk out perfect. It's like a speed shop. You know, like, <laughs> speed shop. Yes, we're shopping everything that God has for us. We like, oh, healing. I'm gonna take that. Uh, Love. I'm gonna take that. Another one. Knowledge. I'm gonna take that. Uh, you know, just putting it, throw it in the bag. That is <laughs> <laughs> just you know, <laughs> throw it in the bag and the Holy yeah. Spirit, the cash register at the uh, cash register. Get all the fruits. Get the, get the <laughs> knowledge. Get the peace. Get the love and. Put in your bag. That's what you get from Spiritual Speed and Wild Young Podcast. Wild Young. That's yes. is it. It's Wild Young. Wild Young. Sophie's yes. killing me today, y'all. I don't want to go. You know, um, this is definitely my sister in the Lord. And I really just enjoy, you know, chatting it up. You know, that just that Bible talk, but that personal yeah, talk. So for sure. 
today I want us to find out what God wants for us. All right. I definitely want us to walk on water and really hear God's voice and choose God. Choose God. For sure. Yeah. Do you have any early moments of hearing God's voice? Hmm. Yeah, I think I heard God's voice before I got saved, which is crazy. That happens to a lot of people. Yeah, it does. but like really like uh, it was after the Shayna Wilson concert. Children's Generation opened for Shayna Wilson or Shauna Wilson. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. And that whole weekend, I wanted to drop some of my own, some of my own music. And God was just like, I felt it in me. It was like, Bro, you cannot be about yourself this weekend. Mm. You got to be about the team, about God, about everything else. And then at the end of the weekend, that like Sunday, I think the Sunday night going into Monday, all I heard was like, well done, my son. Or mm. You know what I mean? That was it. So, something simple. But it was like I woke up. So that's it. So I heard yeah, God's voice. that's crazy. I heard well done after the Young Adults Conference mm. in October. I was telling Lucy that. I was like, I'm hearing God say, well done. I mean, it was to her specifically, but then I felt like it was also to the Young Adults Ministry at Agape as a whole, because that was the time where we really stepped up. Like, we really tapped into that. Hmm. And that's when I heard God say, well done. I mean, there's different ways that you can hear him as well, but that's just one point. Oh, yeah. For sure. I like that. So, warm-up question. Hmm. What what feeling do you get when something is wrong or what feeling do you get when something is right? Like when something is off, okay, well, number one, I'm a very sensitive person. So when something is off, I maybe not wear it on my sleeve, but what I'm thinking is like, oh my goodness, like it's bothering me. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it can show, maybe 90% of the time it can show, or maybe it doesn't. But when something is off, obviously it doesn't feel right. But then when something is right, like it's like it's like you just won the lottery. Like, oh my gosh, yay. Like everything in my day is just going so right. Like it just feels so good. But then when it's off, you know, it's kind of like you got to kind of slouch in your walk. Or maybe it just starts small. You kind of got to slouch in your walk. You're not smiling as much. Like, you know, it. it the feelings that I get obviously is hot and cold mm. for sure. Does that affect how you wake up? Sometimes. Oh, yeah. They, you know how, like, they have that saying where it's like, when you're married, you don't go to sleep upset at each other? Yeah. I feel like that goes for yourself as well. You shouldn't go to sleep feeling sad or upset, especially if, like, for me, sometimes it'll be like, I already prayed about this and I gave it to God. And the situation is already done and over with. But sometimes I'll still go to sleep with that sadness and I'll wake up with it still. Yeah. So it's it's definitely... um, Sometimes hard. Yeah. It's, I like how you said, I gave it to God. It's already done. Like, oh my gosh, why is it still here? Like, you know, just that getting it off you. Yeah, because, I mean, once it's already done, the enemy tries to play tricks on you. Like, it's not really done for real. <laughs> like, God said it was going to be done tonight. It's 11.59. It's not done yet. Yeah. Like, you know, I think that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 11. That's it. That's nightmares right there. 1159 yeah. the test in college. Mm-hmm, All right. For sure. I got some Bible. Some Bible for us. First Peter 2.16. We did this actually leading up to our set apart conference mm-hmm. in October. It's called Choose Him. Let me find it. First Peter 2.16. Well, while you find that, the Young Adults Conference at Agape Word Center Church International in Beltsville, Maryland, was a great experience <laughs> that <laughs> our Young Adults Ministry and our leaders as well, by backing us and pushing us, was really wonderful. And I can't wait for this year's conference. If I can't wait. Somebody said it's, it's already happening. So by the time it happens, it's really just going to be like, boom. So much is ahead of us this year. Uh, 1 Peter 2, verse 16. For you are free, yet you were God's slaves. So don't use your freedom as an excuse to do evil. Mm. For you are free, yet you were God's slaves. So don't use your freedom as an excuse to do evil. For you were free, yet you were God's slaves. So don't use your freedom as an excuse to do evil. Mm. What does that mean to you? I, well, I saw choose him. So choose him. You're free. You got free will. Choose him, though. 
You know, you could go left, go right, choose him though. So that's what it means to me, like. So what do you do with that person who's battling choosing him or choosing evil, like the verse says? Uh, honestly, I know what evil feels like. And it's like, what do you do? You know, that feeling you get when you have two options mm -hmm. and the good option is boring. Mm -hmm. So you go with the bad option. It's exciting. But in that bad option, you're like, dang, if I'd stayed home, if I'd done this, if I'd actually called the person like and said, sorry, if I'd blah, it was boring, it wasn't attractive, but you get that feeling of regret. So forget choosing, I'm not going to say forget choosing God, but I'm going to say, if you can't choose God, don't try and regret things, mm. you know, because you, you always regret when you don't do something good. Oh, yeah, of course. I think that kind of means like, I mean, God, you're free because of God. He's given you the authority. And there's a, a lot that comes with having the authority and having the Holy Spirit within you. So it's just like, don't think that you're on top of the world right now and you're the bomb.com and mm. like you're the man and you could just do whatever. Because I feel like when you have the Holy Spirit and you're confident and you're certain is it, it has to be a humble type of way. So I feel like in this instance, like, you know, kind of having this in your life is like winning the lottery. What does a person who wins the lottery usually do? They blow, blow their all. money. They think they're the best thing in the world. So in this instance, it's like, don't act like that person who just blows it all away. Don't think that like... I got the Holy Spirit in me and I'm better than everyone. And, you know, like you're not touching me or anything like that. It's kind of like a be humble in the freedom that I've given you so that you do not take it and do evil. Mm. Yeah, Give me a bomb.com moment. A bomb.com? Like you thought she was a bomb.com. Um, I thought I was the bomb.com. In Christ? Um, yeah, of course, in Christ. Um, I don't know. When I was the bomb.com in Christ. I mean, obviously, when a prayer is answered, you always feel like the bomb.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you feel like, oh, my goodness. Like, where is this prayer? So, like, literally, Megan just sent a chat the other day. She was like, wow, look how God answered my prayer. She's all happy. Like, you know, you feel the, mm. you feel your best when a prayer is answered. So, I would say that's my bomb.com moment mm. when a prayer is being answered. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's yours? You're always doing this. What's yours? I'm not. I'm not a guest. <laughs> What's? I mean, I. I can still ask you. The people want to know. Okay, y'all want to know, not Soph. All right, Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> um, my bomb.com moment. I think it's doing a song in church, and knowing that it hasn't been approved. Doing a uh, worshiping by myself, or you know, when we did the, the speed Thanksgiving. That's when I feel like the bomb not come. Not because I'm doing something, but it's like, you know, it's three of us here gathered and we are singing and no one says that we're on the praise team. You know what I mean? We're singing for God, but we're not on the praise team. I feel like the bomb dot com. What Just, do you mean by, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. What do you mean by it's not approved? Like you're singing a song? Well, if I'm being honest, I'm a part of chosen generation. And there are times where it's like royalty. Mm-hmm. The song I, of the century. The song the of the century. <laughs> Royalty. She said it, not me. Don't get mad. Royalty. Didn't get approved until it was heard. And when I say approved, it's like, can it be in the set list? Oh, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's like, can we just fill out what God's saying and then do a song that no one's ever heard before? It has one hook, but one verse. Know, uh, like, one thing my friend was telling me, she was like, sometimes... The way that you show people like this is God is by the hunger that's in you. Yeah. So it's one thing if you're telling someone like, I feel like this song is really good. I feel like there's a message behind this God. God is speaking to me and to us in this song. I mean, we're chosen generation. This is our thing. This is our basically theme song. Hmm. But I y'all don't want to perform it. It's kind of like a, if you let people see the fire and the way that the Holy Spirit is working in you, then they'll see it and take note of that. Yeah. Now, I'm disclaiming though, royalty was like, they heard it a few times, they're like, <laughs> yeah, but you're right. That yeah. hunger, that's my bomb.com. Like, I feel like spiritual speed, I feel like I have to show that, like, oh, there's fire in this. Mm -hmm. People are like, I don't see it. 
So then I got to show it, you know? Yeah, you got to show it. I mean, everybody's not going to see it all the time. They're not going to see maybe not the first time. They probably might see it the hundredth time. Or imagine you guys have been talking about this song since I got to a gap in, what, February, March? Maybe they didn't see it until y'all went to perform it in Africa in August. Yeah. Like, you know? It's, yeah. It be like that sometimes. Yeah, nah. I definitely think God is working. Uh, let's yeah. play a game. Yes, let's play a game. Uh, queen of the coin flip. Okay, we're going to flip and chase the outcome. Flip flip the coin, chase the outcome. There's been so many guests. We haven't done this in so long. <laughs> we haven't done it in a while. Okay, flip the coin, chase the West outcome. Head, what's tails? Flip is heads and chase is tails. Okay. Oh hey. my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to flip it like this. <laughs> Tails. You go first. Tails. Chase again. All right. Are you living to make the Lord famous? And we're going to chase that. So we're going to do self-awareness. Okay. So self-awareness and living to make the Lord famous. Uh, people are watching me. So someone I had coffee with somebody like a few weeks ago. And they're like, you think people don't see? You think people don't see what you're doing, bro? Hmm. they're watching they're watching they're watching and i'm just like man i'm just trying to do my best and they're like they're watching so being that self-aware that i'm actually making god famous in my mm -hmm. daily life your turn yeah for sure chase um okay uh chase um maybe consistency because if I want to choose God, I got to be consistent in choosing him every time. Mm. He can't be second option. He can't. It can't be A, B, C, or D. And then I'm putting God as D, the last option. Yeah. You know, you got to be A. You got to be number one. So I have to be consistent in constantly choosing him. I have to be consistent in constantly choosing him. Because once I choose him, then... You know, everything else will fall into line. I'll fulfill the will that he has for my life. I'll be obedient. And then, you know, with me ministering and spreading the word, that's how I'll make God famous. Not because of myself, but because of God. Mm. Okay. Next flip. What do you consider evil? What do I consider evil? You want me to flip it again? Yeah. That's an easy question. I don't need to flip the coin for that. Oh, we, we want to okay, figure out what <laughs> aspect. Tails. Tells again, that's Chase, right? Yeah. Okay, so what do you consider evil? What do I consider evil? Anything that is not of God is evil. Uh. That's, I think so. But then also with the self-awareness too, something that can be evil and self-awareness is things like ego that can get in the way or um, what's another one that people struggle with in regards to their selves? Pride? Yes, ego, pride, stuff like that, and self-awareness can be evil because that's not of God. Mm. And then consistency. There's some routines and mantras and slogans you're doing or whatever. Mm. Uh, not you, but I think young people, Yeah. they they might cancel me on this one. The moons and st stars and all astrology. that. Astrology? All that astrology. Yeah, you, you cannot be so consistent in that in your prayer life. Ain't even getting you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like that's evil. But I ain't going to go into that, you know? Yeah. Also, there's power in the tongue as well. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things that young people say that are not, excuse me, the best. Mm. I even have to catch myself sometimes. Like, if somebody says a really funny joke, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm weak. Like, I'm dead. I'm like, oh. I'm not weak. I'm not dead. Like, yeah. why am I saying that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I have to catch myself. Yeah. We're saying stuff about that too. For All sure. Right. I got another one. I got another one. I really like this one. So I'm glad I made it to episode seven. It's Psalm 29, three. I could probably quote it. It says, the voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. Mm. Okay, memory. Hey, this is... <laughs> Psalm 29.3 is underlined. The voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. The voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. The voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. God's voice is on the water. Mm. What's your water? My water. God's voice is over 
my insecurities. God is voice is over my future. God's voice is over my education. God's voice is over my family. God's voice is over everything in every aspect of my life because he needs to be in control of that, not me. Mm. So all of that stuff, he's that's over my water. Mm, mm. Let me let me get a coin on that one. Let me get a coin on that okay. one. Okay. My water. You that was a bad way. It's the nails. In the comments, drop <sighs> a diamond if she can't flip. <laughs> <laughs> it's the nails, though. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's the do heads. Heads. It, it heads. All heads. right, flip. So faith, love, integrity, patience. Being patient and the water. Okay. The whole like from September to December, I felt like God was like, you know, you need to, you know, walk on water. You, you, Peter. God's calling me somewhere. Take that step of faith, step that way in the water. And I couldn't see what was happening. I really couldn't. Like, I literally couldn't. But the one thing I go to is that September 1st, right? I'm over here talking about God's voice on the water. You know, in December, they're doing a secret song. Mm -hmm. And so it was taking that step of faith that like, you know what? I love this secret song. I think the songwriter has something with it. Let's mm -hmm. do it. And now in December, we're singing it in praise and worship. Wow. So it was that patience yeah. on water. We sang it this a couple Sundays ago too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think we sang it like, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Secret Place. Every time we want to get to that secret place, we sing the song. Yeah. Kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I think Marley was talking about abiding that secret place and all that. Yeah. The, that's the confirmation. Yeah, Elton was talking about being consistent, you know, finding finding your truth in God. All right, this is a perfect mm -hmm. time for prayer. You want to just give us a prayer? Yeah, a prayer point. Our prayer point for this while young episode is may we stop ignoring God's calling on our life. May we stop ignoring those phone calls. May we stop ignoring our alone time with God. May we stop ignoring everything that God is calling us to do. And may we choose him because he's calling a lot of people right now. And a lot of people are missing that call. A lot of people are missing that call. Because can you imagine your mom is calling you and you're not answering? She called you up about 10 times. Her mind, her head is going off the walls. Like, where are you? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So God is like that right now. Where is my child? He wants to hear from you. He wants to get to know you. So God is calling you. You need to pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Doesn't have to be a long conversation. Just pick up the phone and say, hello, God, I'm here. I like that. Yeah. Hello, God, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. here That's what he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. give it all to God. Uh, help cleanse shift. So we're going to help ourselves, cleanse ourselves, and shift ourselves. But off of the Wild Young episodes. Okay. 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 So it's going to be a little different, but help cleanse shift off of the Wild Young season. It's the last episode. So. Help cleanse shift. Okay. Favorite moment, though. Favorite moment? So did it help? Did your favorite moment help you, cleanse you, or shift you during the Wild Young whole thing? Well, I don't have a favorite moment, but one thing that I will say our guests, and we were just talking about this, one thing our guests really made important was how important community is when walking with Christ while young. Because, I mean, you saw how they talked about how all of their different communities really played a part in their walk with Christ and how it really played a part into them getting closer to him. So I feel like community is definitely something that, can help us cleanse us and shift us and finding that is really important and hopefully we find that here at the podcast as well but yes i think that's kind of like my favorite thing from the wow young is definitely that insight on community for sure okay did it like shift you or cleanse you or help you i or? mean it shifted my mentality and my mindset about Ooh. my community now like i mean i may think that like Oh, me and my friends are pretty cool. Like, you know, we're led with Christ. But, you know, how many, how, now I'm thinking, like, how many times do we pray as a friend group? Mm. Do we have friend group? I mean, we all, we all go to the same church. So we all attend Bible study together. But what about within the friend group? Mm. Like, you know, we've talked about it. Why hasn't it happened yet? Mm. Yeah. I think that's kind of how it shifted. We, okay. I yeah, like for that. Sure. Um, My favorite moment. I think it helped me 
seeing people like me, like you in action. Mm -hmm. So there's just a whole while young, like seeing you in action, seeing our guests in action. It's just like, hold on. Like you could be in action too. Yeah. It's inspiring. Yeah. It's inspiring. It definitely sows that seed. I mean, we, we have this platform that we are hoping to sow a seed, but then they came and sowed a seed in us as well. So Mm. it's, it's great. What do you wish happened this season? What do I wish happened this season? I'm going to throw in a seat for next season. We might need some like, I don't know. We got some vocalists around us. So we might. You want somebody we, to sing? We might got to get somebody to sing for like two minutes. Like that's it's not, I know it's a podcast, not even two minutes, but like, like I'd like to see something like. I don't know, like someone just dropped some bars and it just cleansed my whole system. Okay. You want somebody to sing? Just sing like a little freestyle? Yeah. Just like, just give me like 30 seconds and I, it got to cleanse me. Okay. Yeah. So I'm assuming a ministry leader who is in, like, who sings. Yeah, because Marley ain't sing for us. Oh, yeah. She didn't sing. She did not sing for us. <laughs> okay. I like that idea. Okay. Somebody to sing. Yeah. Interesting. Did you have any revelations during the season? Honestly, these guests, um, the guests we had on Wild Young kept talking about, like you said, community. Mm -hmm. And I saw it when just doing a podcast, how people felt like they were comfortable in that. So it gave me like, I think it cleansed my perspective that I'm not the only one doing it. You're not the only one doing it. That people love a safe space like Mm -hmm. spiritual speed and- all the, you're all about speed or you're all about wild young or you're all about serving God or you're all, it's like, bro, I'm clean. <laughs> like, I'm clean. People that I don't know are doing it too. Yeah, and they have the same challenges, the mm. same struggles as us as well. And they've overcame them mm. for sure. So spiritual speed and wild young is definitely a place to be. Mm. What about yeah. you? <laughs> Um, any revelation? I think that all of us, people behind the scenes, the two of us in front of the camera, our guests are being used in ways that we didn't think would happen. So I think that now God is revealing to us that we're just being called to a little bit more. Mm. I think that's my revelation from oh. your while young. Not something that was said in particular, but just the whole thing in itself. Mm. I like that. Yeah. Like everybody. I think everybody. Yeah. I mean, Dee was talking about how she wanted to be in front of the camera more and she got the opportunity with us. Yeah. So it's like everybody's getting a little bit of God calling you to more mm. with this. Mm. Yeah. I like that. So, all right. On this last episode, let's let's start giving people some plays. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, giving them some spiritual speed. So what is your favorite lesson from the season? My favorite lesson from the season. My favorite lesson from the season. Um, I have to think on that. Mm, I'll go. I'll go. So help cleanse shifts. My favorite lesson. You can't like start dropping diamonds. You (laughs) cannot be a part of this podcast in any capacity and not level up. Mm. Like you can't like you can't be in the presence of God There's no time where you hear something from God and something doesn't click or break or you understand what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? Like you don't leave God the same. And that's a shift. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite moment is um, figuring out God's calling on your life. Like, what do you do with that? And hearing other people share their calling and stuff like that. Like, what does it look like for somebody like me and my age? Mm -hmm. I'm being pulled in every direction. I'm Mm -hmm. studying a major in school. I may be serving in my church. Like, what is the what is God's calling on my life? Even in the midst of all of that. Yeah. Okay. okay, I like that. While young, we're going to do injuries off. So, okay. you know, this is while young. How do you keep the injuries off? Injuries off, you pray. Pray. Point blank, period. You pray. I Prayer, there's a lot that happens with prayer. Keep the injuries off, you pray. God is giving you an authority when you pray in the name of Jesus. 
So <laughs> if you're telling something to get off me in the name of Jesus, it's off of you in the name of Jesus. So uh, to keep the injuries off, you, you have to pray. Prayer is like your shield. Like I was watching this video on TikTok. Honestly, it was kind of corny, but it got to the point. It was uh, two children who were walking in a school hallway and there was this evil spirit following behind them. I saw it. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, this evil spirit. And the thing was one child's parents were in the Lord and the other wasn't. So one child was being prayed over by their parents, the other wasn't. And the spirit was following a child who wasn't getting prayed, like who wasn't rooted. And then it just, it could not touch the child whose parents were praying for him and interceding for him and and the child who was in the Lord. Mm. So that is the power of prayer. Mm. The child may not be praying like for his future at what, seven years old or anything like that, but his parents are putting that hedge of protection over him through the prayer. So prayer is the way to keep those injuries off. Mm. I like that. Okay. So pretend I don't know God. Rinse and repeat. I need some rinse and repeat spiritual speed. You don't know God. Rinse and repeat. Um... Hmm. You don't know God. Maybe rinse and repeat. Maybe think about where you see yourself in five years and think about how you're gonna get there. Yeah. You yeah. I don't know. You done <laughs> I feel like doing this whole podcast with you, like you like she be hiding. She got gems, diamonds, like like that's the one. See yourself in five yeah. years. Yeah. How are you gonna get there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's yours? Uh, you stole mine. Same thing. Nah, rinse and repeat. If you don't know God and you are young, what do you want? But change what you want. You know? It's like, think about what you want and then be like, okay, well, what do I want? And then what do I want again? And at some point, you're going to get to something so big that it's like, ah. God, I need I need to figure out a way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For and sure. So then you're gonna rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Yes. Yeah. Well, this is the Wild Young podcast. This was spiritual speed. The nah, wild- this was Wild Young. <laughs> this was Wild, wild young. young. This was Wild Young. <laughs> the last episode of season one. Yeah. Uh, this was great. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! What what can they expect from season two? Season two, expect more of God's glory uh. to be shown through our podcast. Expect an overflow of what the Lord has in store for your life. Because when you watch season two, you're going to bring an empty cup, but it's going to get filled. Hey. Yes. Hey, empty cup and it's, it's gonna filled. It's going to get filled overflow. in season two in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That was the empty cup filled. Yes, that's season two. Season two. Mm. That overflow. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Pet peeve? Can we get a pet peeve? A pet peeve of what? From like being wild young. Like, what is a pet peeve? Pet peeve. Like something in God that it's like, you're young. It happens. You got to get over it though. Like, Oh. I don't know. What's yours? Mine is... They not going to see it until God shows them sometimes. Oh, yeah. that's I would say the same for me then. No, that you was, can't steal mine. <laughs> pet peeve. Maybe a pet peeve of mine is... Um, I honestly don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Nothing annoyed you and God in being Christian and serving? Uh, oh, a pet peeve is when people can underestimate you because you're young. Uh, yeah, okay. that's a pet peeve. You heard it. God gonna show them and don't. It's okay. Yes. God don't. He don't underestimate you. Okay. He don't underestimate you. <laughs> okay. But this is the Wild Young Podcast season Wild one. Young. Woo! Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody who watched. Don't forget to share. Now that the complete season is over, just share the whole playlist. Don't share one episode. Share the whole playlist. Okay. Couple thank yous. Thank you to Sammy. Thank you, Sophie. Yes, for Thank this you. YM podcast. Thank you, Jay. Shout out to KN3. Yeah, shout out to KN3. Shout out to Gap at Western Church International. Shout out to the Young Adults Ministry, Chosen Generation. Shout out to our Reverend and First Lady. Am I missing anybody else? 
you shout you shout out yourself. Yes, I shout out Jay. Our, yes, another thank you to Jay, our producer, our manager, creative director, everything is short in here. Big G. Shout yeah, out shout God. Shout out to God, of course. Yeah. Yes. Shout out Jesus, Holy Tri- uh Holy Spirit. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, and yes. drop a diamond in the chat, like she said. Just share it out. And that's why you're on. Yes. Hey. Thank you to our guests too. If we got to say thank you. Um oh, yeah. Thank you. Elton, <laughs> D, and, and Marley. Marley. Yes. Thank you to everyone. Even if you follow our Instagram, watch the video, thank you to you too. Thank you. See ya. Oh, wait. Vroom, 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 vroom. Gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like speed. Is that spiritual speed? Oh. Yeah. But we wild young. It's wild young. Wild young. Wild young. That's a rap clap. That's a rap, y'all.